In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a Trezor crypto hardware wallet and link it to your MetaMask account for an additional layer of security to protect your crypto assets. So when you're making transactions, you're gonna confirm it in MetaMask, but also by using the physical hardware wallet. And that is gonna make it a lot harder for you to get hacked and for your crypto to be stolen. So for starters, obviously you're going to need to buy a Trezor hardware wallet. This is the Trezor Model 1, but the same process would work for any of the other hardware wallets out there, including the Trezor Model T. Now, once you buy your Trezor wallet and set it up and create an Ethereum account, you're gonna to want to go into MetaMask and here where you can select an account you'll see that there's a button that says import account and a button that says add hardware wallet so you're going to hit this button here add hardware wallet then you can select Trezor from the list and continue this is going to open up a page that's going to ask you to export your public key to MetaMask and it's important to note that this is the public key not the private key you're never exporting the private key which is what gives you access to all of the crypto assets associated with that wallet in this case we're going to confirm to allow MetaMask to read the public keys from the Trezor device so I'm going to hit select yes export that i'm going to select my standard wallet which doesn't have a passphrase and now i'm going to have to choose which accounts i want to import i'm just going to select the first one even though it has no eth in it but let's say i had eth in five different accounts on trezor i could choose which ones i wanted to import to metamask so i'm going to select the first one i'm going to hit unlock and now i'm good to go you can see that it's called automatically trezor one and I can toggle between my different addresses, my different wallets in MetaMask this way. And then if I want to go do something, so for example, let's say I'm going to OpenSea and I want to buy an NFT with the ETH that I have in my Trezor protected account as opposed to just my normal MetaMask account. Well, I can connect normally through my MetaMask like I would and then switch to connect to my Trezor One account. This pops up and this is where the Trezor comes into play. Anytime you have to sign a message or you have to confirm a transaction, you're going to be confirming it in the actual hardware wallet. So if I select accept and sign, and I have to press the button on my hardware wallet right now, asking me to confirm the transaction. And once I double click it, I'm good to go. And so that is the exact same process that you would use to confirm transactions through MetaMask, but by adding the additional layer of security of having to double click the buttons on the hardware wallet to confirm that transaction. Hopefully you found that helpful and have a great day.